this I'm gonna miss. So I'm here to introduce you to my channel, let you know about testing your limits, what it's all about, why I got started. I'm here to show you what you wanna learn. Uh, so, come on, uh, it's all about how far we can push ourselves to the limits, push our bodies to the max. We're just showing ourselves what we can do and we're just coming to the realization of what we can do basically um and i'm just here to show you basically how far the body can be pushed and how far it should be pushed and i'm going to show you everything about our channel uh, life struggles life interest uh, everything's just going to be uh, interesting with us uh, like i said always we always accept new workouts new ways to um, show everybody what we're going to do around here. Uh, you know, we travel to different gyms, uh, we work out with different people, so we can get a wide variety of everything that's basically going on. Um, and we should also going to show you a little bit about how to eat healthy, um, foods to eat, uh, special workouts, why certain workouts are good for you, why some ones are bad for you, the positives, the negatives, the pros, the cons, so on and so on. And uh, we're going to have a little fun while doing all of this. So I uh, hope you guys enjoy everything you're going to say. I hope you learn to eat healthy. I hope you learn to work out better, get stronger, be motivated. Uh, I love going to the gym, influence others, uh, take control of your own life. And uh, let's take a little walk outside. I love this. Close this up. You know what I love? I kind of love this house actually a little bit. We got an automatic lock. You don't need any keys. I know it's a little irrelevant, but I love that as well. Uh, well, two cars out here. Oh, so, uh, I guess you guys want to know what type of gyms I go to and how I work out. Uh, uh, well, most of our gyms are Planet Fitness, LA Fitness, Pure, Relentless, Blink Fitness, Sweat. Um, they're not really, besides Elephate, they're not really huge gyms, they're not really that big, but I'm showing you that you don't need to be in a gym full of people who are huge, doing all types of roids, with 200 pound dumbbells to get stronger and improve and actually become stronger than the people who do go to those types of gyms. Uh, they're like, sm big things come in small packages. Uh, Take a look at our garden. Take a look at our garden. Look at this beautiful garden. It's winter now, so it's dying up a little bit. Uh, take a look at that. Everything basically. Um, so come on. We're gonna take a drive to the gym that I use most uh, most of the time. Um, I live uh, by the Philadelphia Airport in Philadelphia, um, so I use the Planet Fitness off of Essington Island Avenue. It's right near the airport. It's actually a pretty big gym for Planet Fitness. Uh, so we'll show you where I go. And this trail, you see this trail over here, up and down. This is a really good, I like, do sprints here. I could jog. We have this refugee park right near us. Um, sometimes I do some workouts in there on the trees. I get kicked out of there sometimes uh, for working out when I'm not supposed to. Kidnap some animals. So. But I really like uh, this empty area. We have a dead end at the other side. Uh, so I can go down there and uh, be at peace uh, when I'm working out, which is another big thing. Is you wanna, uh, you should like working out with people, but always have the headphones. So put the seatbelt. Always have the headphones so that you can, you know, drown out the sound and the noise and the. Uh, the obstacles and the distractions so that way you can get a good lift in while you're lifting so I'm not telling you not to work out with people um, that's another thing about testing the limits you got to test the, uh, your patience um, how well are you at working out with someone 
on still focusing on the workout without engaging in too much conversation. How well are you attesting the limits of working out by yourself and not having someone to motivate you um, to work out when you're tired, you're like, I don't want to do this last rep. Um, so that's another big thing about testing the limits. Um, so I'm here not just to teach you the gym, but I guess a little bit of life lessons in the process. I'm going down this little uh, back entrance way to the gym uh, because it's so crowded in the uh, going through the whole strip mall to get there. So I like to take this little back entrance. But you will, we're almost there now. It's only about a mile away from uh, from the house. So sometimes I take a little jog to the gym in the mornings to get myself going, take a little jog home. That way I can get to the gym and get my cardio in both at the same time. Waste less gas. Gas is, it will never be cheap, I guess. So, but it's been cheaper. <laughs> It's up to 380, that's ridiculous. So, let's go around. Oh, that's a nice uh, little blue Mustang. Nice car. Alright, so we're here now, pulling around. Uh, you can see our plan of fitness right there. So, this is where I do mainly of my workouts uh, when I'm home, that is. Uh, well, I'll show you all about testing my mints. I just like it because it's not really that packed. It's uh, pretty empty. It's really only packed during rush hour. <laughs> where that's where mainly all the people go. Um, so I'm going to get a little workout in today. But I just thought you guys should all know about what testing the limits was about. Why I started it. What you can learn from it. How you can improve. And why you should share it with your friends. So, like, once again, if you like any of the photos or the videos, you learned something, like, share, comment, and, of course, subscribe. And happy watching.